You don't think the simplest method is here? Shall we take like this? It's not a it's not a prism, but but I can assume there's a prism and there's an angle of prism. They you know anybody can do it huh? if you can do this imagination. Uh, this, this should be angle how much? This is 90. This is 45. So what should be the angle of prism? The angle of prism should be, I'll, I'll do one thing, I'll write alpha because A we have here, no? So let me, so what is alpha? Therefore alpha should be 45 degrees. So straight away we got what like angle of prism. And strictly, so this will be the refracting angle R1. R1 plus R2 plus alpha. R1 plus R2 should be alpha. And for, for the rate to undergo TIR, it'd be for TIR. Theta, theta will not be 15, huh? two sine, sine inverse of two sine 15. The answer I'm getting. Okay, let, let me get into this one. So for TR, it'd be, so what should be the R2? R2 should be greater than or equal to C. So let this be the mu of prism. So this will become sine inverse of one by mu. Mu value we know equal to two. So therefore this will become R2. Let's get into. So what is R2? R2, we can write it as sine sin, sin of R. Okay, that I think we will get the value of this one. No? R2 should be greater than or equal to 30 degrees. What is R2? We can write it as alpha minus R1. Alpha is 45, so 45 minus R1. Any mathematics? No, 45, 15 degrees should be greater than or equal to R1. Mm, yeah. Okay, how to I should bring, no? So yeah, fine. So this will be sine of 15 degrees, sine R1 sine 15 degrees, I'll keep it as it is. R1, I'll write it as alpha minus R2. Sine alpha cos R2 minus Okay, this uh, any calculation, I think after this sine 15 degrees, sine alpha one by root two, alpha is 45, no? Cos R2, root of, oh, theta, theta I should bring, no? Sorry, like, I, I, I'll take it out this part. Huh? So I think somewhere I'm just. Sin R1, sin R1, I can write it as, I, I should bring theta, no? So applying Snell's law. Sin theta equal to mu sin R1 and mu we know it too. So therefore this will become sin of 15 degrees is equal to sin theta by mu.
mu is 2 that is given so therefore theta will be less than or equal to sine inverse of so minimum equal to you can write it that is okay not 15 degrees so this should be the our answer like this huh? okay no so making making like a structure what happened always try to search some means like how do i come to know so like a this problem belongs to prism maybe it's problem belongs to reflection a plane surface uh it's say like a, what is a see what we did reflection at plane surface formulas only we apply no what is the prism idea applying reflection at plane surface at two times and some relation between the angles what happened through some triangle quadrilateral that will become prism please do work out some different uh, rather than question no you yourself as a different structure like i i uh, very exclusively today there's a one thing the other one also i brought it huh? though there is no prism but the idea of prism is introduced the idea of the prism is introduced here so <laughs> so it's a the idea of prism is a generalized it doesn't mean that it should there should be prism in the diagram Getting no? Okay, let's take the next one. 